What is going on viewers of YouTube since Bot here and I am back if you guys my review of the Toys R Us exclusive Bandai Legacy Collection Movie 2017 Blue Ranger 7 inch collectible figure. Well, as per usual, I do want to highlight the box. I do have the Bandai logo up here, as well as several warning labels, which are pretty much useless, because this guy comes with nothing you can choke on. Um, the Power Rangers logo there. You can take out the lightning bolt background, use it as a backdrop for your figure if you choose to. I like to take them out. The Build a Megazord symbol right there, or the, uh, the logo. And some nice artwork of the Blue Ranger, looking pretty... Pretty faithful to the classic costume, does say Legacy Collection, Blue Ranger there, and a Toys R Us exclusive for whatever reason. I don't know why these are exclusives, it's lame, but there you go. Taking a look at the sides of the box, pretty plain, continues the shoulder of the Blue Ranger, as well as the blue lightning bolts and stuff like that. Same here, and at the top just has the new Power Rangers logo, it's all metallic and Michael Bay Transformers-esque, and the bottom is pretty much useless. Back of the box shows off the Build-A-Figure Megazord. He's a giant chicken. Shows you what ranger comes with which part and what not. And we do have the entire wave, which I will be reviewing all throughout this week. As for the figure himself, this guy is honestly probably my least favorite of the group, and that's kind of unfortunate for me just because the Blue Ranger was always one of my favorite Power Rangers growing up as a kid, the Pink Ranger being my first, but really my main gripe with this figure is the head sculpt, which I'll get here get to here in a minute. Just want to give you guys a quick 360 of the figure, just highlighting everything here. Again, I don't like that spine design, but, you know, whatever. It's a pretty, pretty plain Ranger. He doesn't have too much of the metallic, or the gunmetal parts. Um, they actually cut down on that substantially less than the other Rangers in the wave. He's pretty much just a solid piece of blue plastic, but there you go. As for the head sculpt, yeah, I'm not a fan of this. It might look good just looking at it straight on from a distance, but let's look at it from the side, and yeah, it looks a little bit awkward to me. I don't know why, just the shape of it. I feel like the jaw is way too long, and I'm not a big fan of this this cut right here, how it's just like a wedge or whatever. That's It just looks a little bit awkward, and I don't know why. It's really hard to explain. Uh, maybe other people have a different opinion than I do, but I think it looks a little bit awkward. Um, but as far as, you know, the paint goes, it's 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 pretty normal. You do have the gunmetal silver right here on the mouth plate. You can see his uh, lower jaw and his cheek is clearly exposed. I do like this little molding piece here on the chin and this lining across his jaw is well sculpted. A uh, nice piece of glossy black there for the visor. It's it's pretty reflective. I can actually you know see myself in there, which is kind of cool, and you can actually see the camera too, which is neat. And we do have a little bit of silver right here at the top. It's probably kind of hard to see on camera, but yeah, it's there along with some black as a rim. And then the rest is just the solid blue color. And I'm not a you know I'm not too big of a fan, but. You know, I wish they put some other shades of blue, some reflective panels maybe. That would have been cool. Uh, but overall, a decent engineered head sculpt. Then same goes for the rest of the figure here. Um, I'm going to just, you know, skim this pretty much just because he's very similar to the Red Ranger in sculpt. He's actually almost pretty much actually just the same sculpt completely he's just blue um, they use a single shade of blue throughout the figure no other shades unfortunately you can see his morpher there is well sculpted I don't see a triceratops god damn it um, there's a little blue pupil there with some yellow surrounding it and just the silver which is actually a different shade of silver than the shiny pieces here which are just above the shoulders here um, on his stomach his legs here um, it kind of surrounds the kneecap and then at the back a little bit, as well as the back of the forms. But um, down here, it's pretty bare, unfortunately. I wish they put some more of that gunmetal or something, even though it's not movie accurate. But still, maybe some other shades of blue. Uh, that's just the one 
complaint I have. But um, these little indentations here are actually indentations. They're, they have a fishnet feeling, so they're not just painted on. You do actually have a little bit of light blue here. I don't consider that really anything. I think that's just kind of a lazy look, honestly. I'm not a big fan of this. It's just kind of misplaced, um, especially in person. Same with these, and again, I don't like this. Um, this is just my personal opinion. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this orb thing that they all have on their chest. It really does not scream Power Rangers to me. And uh, yeah, and the shoulders here, uh, like I said in the other Ranger videos I've made, I think it's too open here. You can see the joint very easily, and it feels like it's going to break off, which kind of sucks. And it's the same here on the legs. Very visible, and the proportions just look off from a distance because it's so far apart from the rest of the body. Um, the back, I don't like the spine, and I know I'm saying that I really don't like a lot of things about this, but, you know, overall, it's it's a good figure. I'm happy I have it. Uh, more of that fishnet architecture there. I like this, though. This is kind of neat, um, just the way it's sculpted. Um, looks a little bit off from the side. Looks like <laughs> fat flabs or something. I don't know why. And the forearms are well sculpted. They put a lot of... A lot of molding in there, which is nice. Same with the hands. Nothing in the palms, though. Moving down on the figure. That gunmetal, as usual, kind of a, I don't know, a diamond-shaped indentation there. It's a little bit awkward, actually. i got to straighten it out for you to see. There you go. So, yeah, more of that fishnet. Glad they painted the joints the same shade of blue. That was nice of them. And, yeah, the kneecaps, a little bit weird-looking. Um, but I feel like they're not completely symmetrical in my eyes. I feel like they should be reversed. I don't know why. That's just that's just me. And here the paint's pretty bare, but they put a lot of definition, especially at the back. I mean, they put a lot of molding here. It's actually quite impressive. Um, I just wish they put some other shades of blue and stuff. And the feet, you know, they just have all the logos and information and stuff. So um, a decent mold and a decent figure. Well, as for articulation, I only have one complaint about this, and I said it in the Red Ranger review as well, and that is the bicep swivel is not here for whatever reason. And by the way, before I just get into the articulation here, I dim my light, one of them, and I hope you can see the color much clearly. I just want to get a closer view. Um, I really should have done this from the beginning. I'm very sorry. I wasn't thinking, but yeah, this is his actual color. He's definitely a dark shade of blue um, in person. Again, it's probably a little lighter on camera just because I'm using extremely bright LED lights on my Foldio setup here. But anywho, let's get into the articulation. The head can look up pretty far. Look down, not too much. The jaw is definitely in the way. If they would have brought a little bit up, that would have been cool. Can look right, left, and can just do the full 360. I don't recommend it just because his jaw is so long and his shoulders up here do hinder it slightly so it feels like you're gonna break it. Um, his uh, shoulders can rotate fully as well as go out and in. No bicep swivel but the uh, the female rangers have it and, and the pink and the yellow I mean which is just a weird engineering choice. He does have a double jointed elbow of course and a fully flexible wrist that can basically do anything you need it to do. He does have an ab crunch, goes pretty far forward and a lot back, and he does have a 360 waist joint. Legs can go forward that much, not too much back because his butt's in the way, but he can of course do the splits, and he does have the thigh rotation as well as double jointed knees, and his feet can go forward, back, and yes he does have ankle pivot. As for size, this guy stands at about 7 inches tall. If you don't believe me, I do have my trusty tape measure here. And uh, let us see. So yeah, he stands just at about 7 inches, maybe a little smaller, I guess. But overall, decent size. And here he is next to his movie ranger counterparts. Do have the red and the yellow ranger here. One complaint I have is I feel like she should be shorter. And maybe he should be a bit taller just because, you know, he's the main ranger. Um, and I think he's taller in the movie. I'm not too sure on that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I wish they went the Black Series uh, way and just put these in perfect scale. And here he is next to a standard Marvel Legends figure. He's obviously taller than Kitty Pride here, so it kind of makes sense. You know, he's in a big suit of armor, so naturally these Rangers should be taller than Marvel Legends. And here he is next to my alpaca. Les for accessories. Yeah, this is really... He comes with a chicken leg. The right leg 
to the Megazord. Let me move him aside and just show you this here. Let me zoom in a bit. Oh man. It's literally a giant chicken leg. It's kind of weird. He even has chicken feet. Now, don't get me wrong. They put a lot of detail in here. Let me actually bring in some more light for you to see. Um, they put in quite a bit of detail. They really did a good job sculpting in all the fishnet here, or the feathers or scales. And um, the knee here, or the kneecap, is just a solid gray piece of pliable plastic. So very rubbery, and you can just flex it out a bit. And he does have some... I can't tell if this is a blue or a black... It's honestly kind of hard to tell. Let me dim my light. Maybe it's better to see. Yeah, so it's a blue shade there. I do have some scratches and stuff. And uh, the fishing, basically everything else is solid piece of gray plastic. But they did put some shades of blue here down at the feet. And the feet are just crazy looking. Not going to lie. They're weird looking. Um, and the bottom, he has... It kind of reminds me of Iron Man, because now I'm wondering, can this fly? I don't know if it's going to fly in the movie, because why else would they put this here if it wasn't going to fly? So, there you go for the Build-A-Figure piece. So, overall, this is a decent figure. He's basically the red and the black ranger, but with a, of course, a new head sculpt. Um, he is really just... Uh, it's really hard for me to recommend this. Um, if you're going to get the others, obviously get this. Just that the head sculpt really, really bothers me. I don't know why. This is definitely my least favorite of the group so far. But if you are a Power Rangers fan and you are picking up the red and the black, the yellow, the pink, whatever, might as well get the Blue Ranger. And with that said, people, if you did enjoy this video, please like, subscribe, comment, check out my site at sunspotreviews.com. And I will see you guys in my next video.